Good Monday morning, Fenlanders. How are we doing? I'm Daniel. Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. Hey. Now, frosty old morning again this morning. You can't really see it. We got an exciting old day today. Car sounds like it's coming through my yard. Grummy Granddad wants to go and cart some straw, but I've, I've put him back because we've got a special guest turning up to come and do some filming with us, which I think would be kind of cool. While um, Grumpy Daddy doing that, we've just got everything fired up this morning. But I'm waiting for Bailey to turn up because he's obviously on uh, half term as well. Hang on. <laughs> Trying to plug my two way radios in. Then I'll explain what we got going on. God, it is cold. Woo! I'm dinger. Trying to plug my two ways in without pulling them all off the shelf. Trying to not to look too special. But special is one of my specialities. So leave these charging up and me and Bailey can talk to each other and let we know what's going on. Leave them charging up for a couple of hours. Everything's warming up a little bit. JCB's warming up because I've got to go and uh, dig some bog oaks out of the soil. Grumpy Granddad's just filling the uh, 6190R up. We're going to put that on a drill and we're going to put the 215 which is already on a drill on a drill and uh, we're going to have an awesome day. The only thing I didn't fire up this morning was the old 4400 which I left outside last night and I forgot about. So we'll get that fired up. He's alive. So yeah, everyone's saying how nice he is. I called it a Richard Weston trailer on, on our video the other day. I didn't mean to. Sorry, guys. It's a Richard Larrington trailer. It's scrubbed up okay, isn't it? She's scrubbed up all right, look. The only thing a bit... I had the tailboard jacked up and I missed this bit. So that kind of lets it down a little bit. But the rest of it looks okay. It looks too good to be using for muck, really, doesn't it? Floor's okay. Got a window in the front, which I can pull that down, and I meant to do that the other day, but yeah, Grumpy Granddad jumped in there the other day because he's got a ladder on the side, but he's got no ladder inside. So he got himself in a muddle. He couldn't get out. I had to lift him out. It needs a couple of blocks putting in either side here and there. He's got the airlines here, look. So the airlines all work. Oh, well, I think they work. Air pipes there, but I don't know if they've been used for ages. So it needs a new ringle on there, on the drawbar. Look, that's a bit worn out. I mean, that'll last us forever. I don't got a clue how they managed to wear it out so quick. Hey! Bailey's just turned up. Hey, up. I got rudely sidetracked by Bailey turning up to uh, start his day's work. He's, um, him and his dad and Courtney are busy lambing. Lambing lambs? Is that a thing? Lambing lambs? They're out there lambing lambs. He's a bit delayed coming in this morning because they were up till midnight last night getting his little lamby sorted. Oh, it's my gloves. Oh, just... <laughs> Nearly, uh... Pooped myself. I thought something was uh, running up my trouser leg. Whew. Ah. I'll just leave this um, nut gun battery on charge. But yeah, what did you all think to us on uh, The Real Country File? Uh, if you didn't watch The Real Country File, then we was on The Real Country File. Thanks to Ollie Harrison for letting us be on there and doing a bit. So that was awesome. Grumpy Granddad's just turned up with the uh, four meter drill. So as you can tell, we've got something exciting going on today. If we got a six meter drill running and a four meter drill running, that'll be kind of cool. Just getting a nut gun. I want to adjust the uh, wheel eradicators on the uh, six meter drill. So I put that in the track. Now that was doing an exhaust, not an exhaust burn on the 6215. It was doing a software update on the 215. So yeah, the uh, 215 was doing a computer software update. So I left it. I left it, I left it, yeah I left it. But I got my nut, uh, nut gun now to change my wheel eradicators so I can wiggle these things around. Yeah, we all good. Oh, it's chaos this morning. Does anybody else have a grumpy granddad? Yeah, I, I've subsoiled my potato field and I just told him to go, I've, I've done half of it, all right? So, done a little bit of it. Done a little bit of my potato field and uh, I go and ask him to drop the subsoiler off on the potato field. Yeah, you know, I go down the side of the field and then drop the subsoiler off back with the rolls and then come back off the field, go and get the drill. All the bit of subsoil, you would think you would keep away from, wouldn't you? But no, he's just driven all the way across all of that. We have found ourselves another bit of wood. Well, several bits of wood, I think. So, we got this to do. Yeah, Grumpy Granite's fast becoming a big pain in my butt. There we go. Bit weird, isn't it? See that? <laughs> hey, no wonder it uh, kind of stopped me subsoiler a little bit. What have we got here, me? It's almost like ancient aliens have stopped and uh, dropped off a bit of wood or something. Is it Gloucestershire? Got their stone hinge. We made our own. We done it better. So let's dig this up, 
this is getting bigger all the while. I'll have to come and uh, redo all my uh, wheelings out here anyway, so I might as well go and uh, redo the wheelings where Grumpy Grandad's been uh, ferreting around. We didn't need to be. Let's just have another little look and see if there's anything else. So yeah, Grumpy Grandad and Baby are gone off, clearing wood up. And then we're going to have like a monumental power mode, if you like. Getting the potato and sugar beet land ready. And uh, where we slubbed the dikes out, all needs doing and sorting out and uh, squaring up again. And oh, I missed it. I'm going to have to run all over me bloody subsoil field. Oh well, can't be helped. I just come out here with it. I've got a terror disc anyway. I've got to pull the wheelings out for me from Ashley tomorrow. So we'll, we'll just do that, you know. I'll just get in. Go and put the terra disc on. I want to terra disc all my uh, bits where I've had all the muck coming out of the bottom of the dike, all the slub. So I've got a terra disc them anyway. So another bit of wood. It's a good thing with a subsoiler. You do do tend to find all your um. Ugh. I'll come off it. One bit of wood now decided it wants to not stay on the loader. Come on, playing it. Let me get this to the edge of the field. There's one bit to the edge of the field. Yeah, the, the, the dry and cold, uh, dry and wet spells we've been having is uh, making the bog oak come to the surface, if that makes sense. I don't know why that happens, but it's kind of like the, the, the ground dries out and pushes, pushes the bog oak to the surface. So that's three bits of wood we found this morning. Lovely. That'd be better off just putting the subsoiler back on and going over these bits and maybe where Ashley's run and stuff. Just get them all um, freshened up again and then hit it with the drill again maybe. So hopefully by tomorrow morning we should be should have all of our sugar beet fields or tomorrow afternoon we should have all of our sugar beets ready, ready to drill but it is way too early. With all the frosts and cold weather we've been having it's far too early to think about doing any drilling which is a shame. Right, I think I've got all the bits of wood from this location. I'll have a little dig here where I found it originally, I think. Oh no, there's more wood. We struck gold! Ah, I found another bit. A hole that just keeps on giving. <laughs> I think we got most of it now. Anyway, I'm not going to find it for another five years now with it, until I get the um, subsoiler back on these fields again, you know? I don't know what it would be like in five years time. I think we'd all be flying around in uh, electric cars. Like literally flying around in electric cars. <laughs> Anyone out there does carbon dating in your local and you're close, it'd be awesome to find out. I mean, I did say on Ollie's uh, Real Country file the other day that this was all underwater about 120,000 years ago. Now, don't ask me how I know that, but I think you know, somebody said 120,000 years ago this was all underwater and then maybe they had a last ice age or whatever and, and what was that about 10,000 12,000 years ago or something uh last ice age kind of i guess it all leveled it all out it must have been just a big block of ice dragging all my hills out of the way obviously some people have got huge deposits of gravel and uh flints and stuff like that all over their soil well they're all from the last ice age god was pretty kind to us when he done our little bit of the um, little bit of uh patch of land Bits of wood, bits of wood, bits of wood, more bits of wood coming out. Let me go get clean this one bit up. Ooh, here we go. We have some fun, don't we? Dragging out colossal bits of wood. I wish they'd all just come out in one big bit. Hello, Fernandez. All right, I've just cleared up uh, one, two, three, four little spots. Only little bits. No uh, massive, big, big, humongous bits, but. A lot of people are asking me uh, about my white land and my black land. So I thought I'd give you a little update. You can probably see behind me, over here, uh, 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 hang on, there you go. Let me move the camera like that. That's all me arms not working in conjunction with my, that bit over there is all white. You can see almost to the line around there uh, where my white, land finishes and then this is not really black this is kind of a mixture of the two but this field over this other side here is really black i'm guessing this was all white at some point because my cousin's field over there uh, a couple of free fields away so i've got black fields in between and then he's got white land again so that is very odd now the difference being the black land warms up and gets away quicker second difference we notice is the black land needs some water on it in the middle of summertime most of the time. The white land doesn't, you know, it holds the moisture far better on the white land than it does on the black. 
But overall, you know, you get good crop potatoes off that black land if you're irrigating. Real nice, tasty potatoes. The white land is real good for potatoes as well. They suffer, some, they can suffer with a few more issues, you know, like they can just get growth spurts real quick and get hollow heart and stuff like that. And um, they're just slower, slower to get away, slower to get away. They're the two main differences, really. The black fields as well, there's not really anything underneath them. As where the white suffers a bit more with compaction issues. But you don't really tend to get stuck too too often on the uh, on the white. It, it tends to hold you up better. Just a few little facts for you and, and a little insight into the differences from me. Obviously, I can't put that on a real country file because I got the wrong hat on. Yeah, Orgatalk gave me a, uh, gave me a hat. Well, sent me a hat out with my bundle that I bought for the little mini digger. This was the first hat I came to this morning, so I'm prancing around in my Orgatalk hat. Four bog oak holes on this field done. We'll head up to the other field now where I've got one more bog oak that I want to pull out and I should hopefully be done then. I got both drills ready to go for a certain, certain company coming out to film us this morning, which will be awesome. And we can properly rattle on if I can figure out how to work the sat nav. So I've got a six meter and a four meter and then a six meter and a four meter. If I can figure that out, it should make a really awesome video. The sun's out. I wish this load had some boom suspension on it. But we're only doing about 12 mile an hour. Jesus, this good old bus. I still love this loader. I'm glad we never got rid of it or gave it away to trade in, you know. Trade in would have given us about four grand for it or three grand for it, you know. So it's worth every penny to uh, keep hold of. Ah, country files at Cheffins today. My um, source on the ground, my eyes in the sky, Martin Johnson, he just rang me and was like, get over here quick, they're filming, they're filming. And I was like, I can't be everywhere. I think we're doing all right on our own, don't we? Promoting British farming. That's the thing, innit? I've got to concentrate on work when it's dry like this. I've got spraying to do. I've got two lots of spraying on the week to do. And I've got um, I've got all these sugar beet fields. The fertilizer's ordered for tomorrow. So uh, hopefully I'll get Ashley to do a little talk while he's out spraying. We've done some drone work with him last year, which was kind of cool. Now I thought to myself, when I get out of the loader, I'll pick my gloves up. But you know what? I haven't. So if I go back again. Yeah, we'll get Ashley to explain what he's putting on, why he has to come and do it. And uh, it's fairly self-explanatory, really. The stuff is so corrosive that you can only do it when you've got steel tank, um, stainless tank. Go and see what these two Grumpy Grandad and Bailey are up to. Yeah, my cousin Martin's like rang me this morning because I got two drills parked out on the field. He's like, "You're gonna cover some ground today, ain't you? What are you doing with them? Uh, what are you doing? You're gonna try and shoot me? Uh, no. Hey, zombie. What? I'm pretending you're a zombie. Playing, pretending you're zombies. Oh no! Have you got your fart machine? You're a zombie. You're a zombie. <laughs> you're a zombie. Oh, I'm dead. Terrorist on. All gonna come at once in this uh, cold weather. Yeah, dry weather is all gonna all gonna come flooding at us in a heartbeat. All I'm gonna do with this terror disc is uh, just go and freshen up everywhere Dad's cleared up. Dad and Bailey have cleared up, so go and uh, pull all the grassy bits of the field around and try and. Uh, the more you let it grow and kill it off, the more stuff you're, the more weeds you're uh, letting germinate and then dying off again. So. It, some of these bits of this field weren't, they were like, uh, I don't know, set aside bits. Should we say set aside? Can you see me okay? Until agri photo turn up, uh, we're just going to bugger about doing this. Talk with Grumpy Grandad and he can go off and cart some straw about and then me and Bailey can carry on clearing trees up until, um, until agri photo turn up. But yeah, no country fire at, at, at Cheffins today. Maybe our little secret's out. Oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I can nearly damn nearly plant into this um, crop behind me here. Damn nearly plant into it. Get my spuds in straight behind the subsoiler and uh, the six meter verna stack. Just get it done. Just trying different things to see how they work. I mean, I, we do far too much to our soil. And I am doing a little bit more than I would like to do to my soil, but I'm trying different things and it always does. Sometimes it works out, and sometimes you end up doing it and think, nah, that ain't really right. So I'll perhaps race over this before we start planting with a springtime or something and really fluff it, fluff it up. Grumpy Grandad just doesn't get it. He just doesn't understand it at all. There you go. This is what I'm working with and dealing with. It is what it is. 
it's going to take some getting through this lot. It's still well soaking wet. So a couple of times to move it all around and we'll be away. I am going to switch you off now until I do something more interesting. Cheers guys. Hello Finlanders, how are we doing? Grumpy Grandad and Bailey are over there. I don't know if you can see them yonder. Over yonder. And I'm just going to get this straw trailer hooked on for Grumpy Grandad. And he's going to go off and deliver some straw I do believe. Yeah, I, I've been looking for a straw trader for ages. And I got one and now I've got another one. So that one is for sale. I think that one's actually a nicer trailer than this one. Um, so we're gonna go and get the weight dropped off this tractor, the 6.90R, so loosen this up a bit. Uh, blow the tires up again, because I let all the air out to go subsoil in. And I got a flat tire on the trailer as well, I think. So, unless it was just parked on a hood. On the hood. So uh, yeah, we're going to get Grumpy Grandad's tractor all ready to rock and roll. He's ready to um, cart some straw when the time comes. Uh, both our pig units are out of straw at the moment. Well, nearly out of straw, you know, but they're also, they're firing through the pigs. The pigs seem to be, I don't know, growing real quick at the minute. I don't know why, but they seem to be flying along. So they're both pumping out loads of muck, which I'm, love, I'm loving it. I'm happy about that. Great. So we'll just uh, we'll get Grumpy Grandad's tractor and trailer all sorted out, and then I think he wants to go and do that. Huh. I've gained a couple of wheelbarrows. Oh what? Ah, they're both broken wheelbarrows. But it turns out I've gained a couple of wheelbarrows. So there we go, that's the weight block dropped off. I'll drop that off for a little while. He don't need that running around for straw. He don't need it, baby. Yeah, no, it definitely looks like I've got a slightly flat tire on the back there, so I'll check them. And I'll pump, put some air in the tires on this tractor as well, because I let them down to about 15 PSI, so. And then I'm gonna go and have my lunch, my docky, my scran, whatever you call it. I'm hungry. Look at me, I'm wasted away. And I'm going to get another hat as well. And another pair of gloves. Um, one, I spilled hydraulic oil all down my hand, so the gloves are ruined. And two, it's uh, too lovely out here for a winter hat, isn't it? So let's get on. I will let you know what else I'm doing in a little while. Howdy, folks. Are you all right? <laughs> oh my God, this is awkward. I think I've got a tyre burst on the trailer, so... I uh, can't even... I can't get my hand in there to pump it up, so... Uh, I don't know whether I'm just going to order a new one, or... Um, Seems a bit special if you can't get in there and pump it up, innit? Hang on two seconds. I don't really know what they were thinking when they put it all together. Did they ever want to question how they were going to pump the tyres up? I might be able to get this on, but I don't know if I can then do anything with it. No. <laughs> That's better. Ooh. Now I just about managed to get a pick in there. I was struggling for ages to try and get a pick in there to undo the valve cap. Now normally with lorry tires and stuff, you have the valve so it sticks out. They obviously haven't put long enough valves on there, so I got a burp again. Boy, me. It's turned out to be a lovely ass day, isn't it? Beautiful blue sky. A few clouds coming over now, but that's to be expected. Yeah, I'm getting irritated. They haven't got the right kit. The only thing I can do is try and push this on. Nah, I think the tire's shot anyway. It's got a load of lumps in it, so... I don't want to bring up and order a new tire before I... The only other thing I can do is take the wheel off, but I ain't really... I have got time, but I haven't. I don't understand why you would... Normally the valve sticks out. Let me show you. See that in there? Miles away, isn't it? There's, uh, there's the valve. Where is it? Can you not see that? 
Am I blocking the light? I think I'm blocking the light. There's the other one, which is stupid in itself. <coughs> that one should be facing this way and that one should stick out through this wheel. That's the whole idea by him, but it doesn't. And it doesn't on any of the others. So how are you supposed to, I'm gonna have to buy a special lorry inflating tool. <coughs> one that you can just push on. Sure, you must be able to get to it. I can't do anything with it now. Unless I take the wheel off, I can't pump it up, but the tire's knacking anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on and order a, order a tire. It's got a big hole in it. Mm. Oh, it's coming out of the other end now. <coughs> Pardon me. Needs a straight fitting on the end and not like, this one, I got this one. This is my old gun, which is not very accurate anymore. But that, I can't even get that in there. No, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to phone up and get another tire ordered. That is about as just off as I could be. It is what it is, isn't it? Right, as they say in the uh, past times, that was a freaking waste of time, wasn't it? I'm gonna park this trailer up until I can get a uh, tire up to me then. And I think me and Bailey might go uh, do some do some drilling. Well, I'll do some cultivating. I hate it when things don't go to plan. Just want to get on, you know. Ready? Oh, yeah. First thing I do when I come to power is uh, tell all the EU rules to go shove themselves. So we can have a nice little opening window. Uh, nice little front opening window in the tractor. One o'clock now and I don't feel like I've got anywhere, but I've cleared my bog oats up and then flattened them all off again. So we'll park this up for a little while. All we can do, just wait for the air to build up. Come on here. Now normally I wouldn't just buy a tyre without, I'd take the wheel off first and try and get some air into it, but the um, the tyre's all different shapes. So I'm, I'm just going to get a new one and put on it. Uh, no brakes are still jammed on. This thing takes ages for the air to build up. Well, I don't know what I just, coming out both ways. I don't know what I just ate, but Jesus, it's uh, giving me real bad gas, real bad gas. Whew. Good job you're not in here with me in the tractor. So yeah, toll gate, yeah, love it, ring them up. Yeah, it'll be there in the morning, no worries. And now, if you were stuck on the side of the road, they'll be there straight away, so. Awesome, innit? Really is good quality service from them. <coughs> Jesus, I need burping, I think. So, we're back in our normal hat. If you haven't already, go over to our Etsy page. Anna is working on swapping it all over onto Spotify, I think, so you can just click on, click on the link and go and get yourself a hat and a hoodie. They're probably good quality, so. Good enough for me to wear to work or they're real nice to go out in, you know, so. Uh, Sorry guys. I'm a little bit gassy. I can't help it. Uh, yeah, we had the funniest little story. I know you lot are like eating probably now or just finished eating, but you all got strong stomachs, didn't you? We sat in McDonald's after the trampoline park on Saturday because we went trampolining because I am that cool. And um, the little girl just walked up behind my sister and just chundered everywhere. <laughs> in the middle of McDonald's, like, yay, great. Hopefully I'm not getting a dose of whatever that little kid had. Fingers crossed for me. And we'll go and get, get on with some drilling, I hope. Parked. You know what, have any of you not got a magnet on your forklift? Nail, found on the floor. I've been doing lots of tidying up and cutting scrap up and stuff, so. All these boxes and stuff are leeching, ne leeching nails out of them. I always walk down with my head on the floor. Uh. Sorry. Right, we'll go and, go and get the 6215R then and uh, go crack on. Uh, uh. Oh. As long as I don't chunder. I'm feeling a little bit chundery. Do I look okay? I'm gonna walk across the field. See you in a minute. Hey up, my my boys have just arrived. Come and do some filming with me. I don't know what they're uh, what they're gonna do really, but yeah, they're here, so they're gonna put a drone up. I think come and sit with me, gonna hang out, and uh, I don't know what else they're gonna do. So yeah, Agri Photo are here. Neil and Eric, or Niels and Eric, uh, my Dutch new Dutch friends. I only met them yesterday, and I think they were struggling for places to struggling for places to go and uh, film while they're over from Holland. They came over yesterday to go and have a look at Chepin. Small world, isn't it? They are Agri Photo, Agri F O T O. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed to their channel, 
go and check them out. I was just saying about how many uh, how many people are doing the whole farming YouTube thing now, but it's kind of good to have some healthy competition, isn't it? But everyone's got their own style. You're, you're kind of drawn to the person, aren't you? So if you like me as a person, then you'll like our channel. But if you like, if you like somebody else for their personality and stuff, you watch their channel, don't you? So everyone, there's room for everyone in the competition world. Uh, that's cool. They've already been to my good friend Matt Goldings to watch him spraying and chucking some fertilizer around, I think. Grumpy Granddad's out here. Uh, let's see if you can see Grumpy Granddad. There they are. Uh, I'm gonna have to lift up here. Grumpy Granddad and uh, Bailey are out there. Just uh, clearing all the wood that came out of the dike. Tons of it. Like Russell came with his saw blade and chopped down. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Russell came with his saw blade and chopped a load of trees down for me. You only got to do it every uh, five years. Every time there's potatoes in the ground, we have to slug the dikes out or sugar beet. But luckily, my two fields that are sugar beet this year uh, have been done by the drainage board anyway. So, drainage board is all good. They've done the dikes out anyway. And I just had to do my potato field and the one over hot corn. Still getting very used to this drill. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of setting up. I do believe I'm going to need I'm going to need a uh, Bernstein technician to come out and just sit with me for a little while, and then I can get the best out of it. You know, there's no point in uh, having a drill like this and being confused at how it works. So, best thing I can do is get somebody out to it and let them set it up for me and leave it alone, and off I go. There's a load of valves and uh, stuff everywhere. So, these boys are out here. Eric, Eric is on the right and neil uh, they're both crouched down taking photos of me now so just do what you do wave and smile wave and smile but yeah neil said he was watching the youtube channel last night so that's cool i've already subscribed to his channel i watch his channel on a regular basis there's eric that's cool i have told him i was a bit worried about putting a drone out because of the um airplanes but I've not had any problems with aeroplanes, so if I don't have any problems with aeroplanes, they won't have any problems with aeroplanes. And uh, yeah, they they just um, come over from Holland and they're going back tonight. So two days in England, what does it take, about three hours to get to us? A couple of hours of driving for them and a couple of hours driving over this side, but they're, they're proper on it, they're proper photographers. And there's me here with my dirty window, and you lot can't see nothing out of it. So yeah, it's all going around there. I do need to get some proper photos for myself while I'm out on the drill because I haven't got any yet and Anna keeps moaning at me because I'm useless for taking photos. You lot may be the same generation as I am where phones and stuff came in long into when I was at school, you know, I was nearly left school before phones properly came out. I mean, I did have a phone at school but it was about this big and it had a flip down front on it and an area we pulled out. I just ain't one for taking lots of photos. I mean, I get drunk and take lots of photos. That's kind of funny. I wake up the next day and go, <laughs> my dad's the same as well we once was in america and dad got um dad got on the plane board on the way home on his own because we sent him home so he could go on holiday with mum and uh with me and mark stayed in daytona and dad was looking for his photos on his phone and found a picture of us sat on somebody's harley outside the hotel and none of us can remember doing it none of us can remember doing it dad doesn't even remember taking the photo for god's sake so that's all good fun isn't it um, but yeah, I just ain't, uh, I ain't the generation that takes a lot of photos. I just, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not a photo. Well, I'm gonna have to get it into my head that Anna needs a photo of everything. So, otherwise she gets angry with me. But this is going down okay. I may end up, I may end up doing it again if I'm honest. I may end up doing it again. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look. When I get back to the four meter verdict stuff, I'm gonna have a look at the, the, the uh, wheel eradicators. They're not as long on this as they are on my four meter. I don't think these are Verdistat legs on the wheel eradicators. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the ones off the four meter one onto this. But I am gonna let this green up again. I mean it looks lovely now. It looks lovely now because I'm going into subsoil work, it's just such hard work. The wheels are digging in and making a little ridge there, which I don't want for sugar beet. One of two things is gonna happen. I'll either end up with a power hammer on just to flatten it down again or I'll um, I'll uh, go over it with this again. Go over it with this again and flatten it down and Job done, job to get him. I probably in hindsight should have just chipped it over and then run it down a couple of times with this six meter vertistat, but same again, innit? I've still got some stubble and stuff on the surface here and that just helps 
combat dust blowing, you know, it could help a little bit. It's not a lot, but every little helps, doesn't it? So Bailey and Dad have pulled up now, they want to be on TV, look. I did promise, I did promise Bailey he was going to be on TV today, so he's putting new clothes on. He, uh, we just ain't had charge, but he's been helping Dad and he's been doing a sterling job. He's been doing a grand job as Bailey. Got a drone on the go now as well, look. Ooh, drone! So it's a shame your sister's not here really, because she could be talking to them about uh, what software they use and what drones they use and how they edit videos and stuff. I mean, they may, while they're over here, if you can do everything to your phone, you can edit a video quick as anything, I'd imagine. Happy Monday. A big shout out to Greg King. Just had a little bit of insider informa information from Mrs. Farmer there. And he likes watching the channel, so I don't know Greg King, so. Hello Greg, how you doing? Be nice to meet you in person one day. I know Mrs. Farmer's got loads of friends, but I haven't met any of hardly any of them yet. Cheers Greg King, thanks for watching. Remember folks, if you want a big shout out, get here in that super thanks and uh, leave us a little tip and uh, we'll mention you in the next video. Cheers guys. All right, now I'm struggling a little bit. I got this wing here that doesn't seem to want to lift out of the ground a little bit. And the other wing, the other side, burying itself uh, no, this one's burying itself deep, and the other one, the other wing, the other side, are out of the ground. So, playing around with the pressure on it to try and get it to level itself up a bit, but I can't seem to get it to level up. But... Oh well. Yeah, I swear they're not long enough. I found some string. I did find some string. I always keep my string in the toolbox, and it looks like I've kept some from last time as well. <laughs> Let's get on. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hello! Oh, you beauty. I've been squinting all day, and I've got my proper Oakleys in there, but I'm feeling like red glasses. Nothing seems to be going right, and then I realised I've been struggling with one side of the drill keep bunging up, and I think all the coulters, I had this with a four metre, all the coulters on the disc are so tight that they won't let the disc turn. When we're in soft, it's all been subsoiled, so it's so soft and fluffy that, you know, I ain't never gonna get the, the drilling disc to turn when they're that jammed up to the coulter. Now I've been having a bit of a ball leg of an afternoon. It's not all fun and games, I tell ya. Yeah, Grumpy Granddad thrown all my wood away that I wanted to cut up and put on my log burner. So that was uh, delightful. But he said most of it was rotten anyway, so. But at the end of the day, it's still free wood, isn't it? If it's free, then I'm going to burn it. Eh, is what it is. He's managed to get all the wood cleared up, though, so that is a good thing. I can't help it. Does everybody else notice that I itch my head a lot? Like, when I'm filming, I, I tend to, like, scratch my head a bit with my hat and stuff like that. If I do, I apologise. If it irritates you, I do apologise. I've been told off by Anna already. And I've also been told off by Mrs. Palmer. She's like, you've got to stop itching your head. Because it's off-putting, you're trying to talk and you look like a knob. <laughs> I look like a knob anyway, so. so. I just get an itchy head when I start filming, I have no idea why. None whatsoever. So, we've been in, fa we've been in finished uh, cross bank. We've been in finished cross bank. So cross bank is going to get his fertiliser tomorrow. And I am going to, uh, nice and steady with this drill. I am going to run some of these trailer uh, ramps over so they don't put, move them out of the way. There's a pair of trailer ramps sticking out in the road. Oh. Does your head in, baby. So yeah, no, I've been struggling a bit with the Verdestat, but we I think I've sorted it. I, I don't know how I'm gonna play this yet. I think I'm gonna uh, come on try to slow down. I think I'm just gonna cause it's still too cold, I keep having frost in the evening. And uh, it ain't no good for me. That ain't no good. That ain't no good. Leaf room four, let's have some of that. I am loving my new tractor though. I am well grateful for this. I'd like a new one, I'd like a new 250, but nah. Should have tried harder at school, should I? Now why didn't that come up as quick as that? Oh. I do love my new drill as well. Man, you can cover some ground with it. I just gotta figure out how to get the pressure on the wings right and I'll be a wee. I'll be, uh, I'll be sorted, but other than that, yeah, the tractor's awesome, the tractor's ace, everything's working well. See how we get on. But yeah, it's so soft and fluffy that I can't really do anything about it. Ugh. Chop half my wheat up. Auto track on, let's have some of that. This field's been subsoiled a bit longer, you see, so it might have had a chance with all the rain we've had to pack it down a bit. Doing a good job. 
I'll, uh, Bailey, I think Dad and Bailey are done for the day now. They're um, going to head home. I'm going to get this field flattened down with this tractor. Then I'm going to go drop the six metre bird off. Uh, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to tuck this away in the shed for uh, for summer time now. That's finished with four metre. I thought I'd be ambitious, shall we say, to get two bird drilling at the same time, but that didn't. Um, that, that didn't happen. So Dad went and got a four metre bird and put it on the field and now I've got to move it off the field. So seems that's on the field anyway. I'll just get him to, well I won't, I'll get this on the terry disc tomorrow for Bailey and he can do the field next to the yard. I need him to learn how to do my ins and outs, missing one and doing every other one, you know. So I need to teach him how to do that. And once he gets away with it, you know, I can leave him to it. You know, because I ain't got a clue what he was doing the other day. I think he was going all the way to the other end of the field when we were working on short work and then turning around and coming back up the field and going back I don't know what he was doing but he's not, he's not used to it we'll get him trained up but I learn every day every day is a learning day and he's nice and steady so he don't fly around like headless chicken he's doing a good job yeah if you turn left with this thing you have to lift it out of the ground but if you turn right you don't the discs just follow you it's amazing 25 acres in what two hours I bet if I was to really push the tractor hard, I'm not really pushing it as hard as it will take it. Let's just have a go, shall we? Not. I mean, I know these murder stats work better. 13k is all she'll do. <laughs> You've got rooster tails. I got rooster tails. Yeah, 13k. Now, now we've come off the uh, fluffier black stuff. We're onto the firmer white stuff. 13 and a half k. Yeah, she pulls out there. Let's just scale that back to about 11 and a half. 11.2, that'll do. I'm in no rush till I get hungry. Yeah, 11.2, this is going way better than the other field. I wonder if the other field was far fluffier and uh, it just it took loads of dragging, you know. The fluffier it is, the more drag it creates on the machine. So I'm going to turn you off for a minute because I think you've probably had enough of me waffling, haven't you? Good evening, Ben Andrew. How are we doing? Right, now half seven at night. Been in and had me tea. No rest for the wicked. Half seven. You know, there's only four hours of uh, working time left. God damn. Oh, I'm going to do it myself, eh? All these late nights and stuff. Yeah, some bright spark. Had the bright idea of trying to run a four meter and a six meter bird of stat today. So I got Grumpy Grandad to go off first thing this morning to go and get the four meter bird of stat and plonk it on the field ready for us. I don't know whether the camera can pick that up, but you can see the sun reflecting on my face. Look. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, you can see how daylight, it's not really daylight at all. It's dusk, you know, the sun has set just about my four meter verter stats. Sometimes the sensor gets stuck on the lift up and downy at the back. It's not coming up, it's not raising up for some weird reason. So, no. okay. I've got to go out there with an adjustable. Come on, you might as well come with me. Yeah, the only people I got to talk to, I can't have the radio on with you lot. Need an adjustable, and I need you lot. Sometimes a little trigger gets stuck. So I then have to come in the back here and open it up. If I can get the world's biggest adjustable for such a small job. In there, maybe not. Simple fix. It does it every now and again. There we go. Gently does it. There you go. And job sorted. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to get the drill off the field and then I'm going to get the terror disc cooked on and I might be nearly done. I might be nearly done. That's probably the end of my Tuesday, really. I'm going to stop filming now for a minute, I think. And uh, on to when? Oh, hang on a minute. It's Monday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Monday. That's the end of my Monday. Yay! Yeah, forget I ever said anything. Tuesday's going to be exciting. we got... Bailey coming up on the terror disc. I am gonna keep the drone beside me at all times now because I haven't had it again today. Uh, it's been a lovely day for filming, but we have been on camera with Agri Photo. So they'll be doing a little video of uh, me with a six meter drill. So that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, on to Tuesday. Peace out. Hey. Woo. Hey. Uh. Oh, bad. Yeah. Uh. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get over here quick! Had a cool. <laughs> oh, oh. He don't need it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. Boy, me. <laughs> oh, it's coming out the other end now. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> oh. Jesus, I need bourbon, I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
I am a little bit gassy. Uh, Parked. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Uh, oh, eh. You look like a knob. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. God damn. Oh. Oh. Yay! We have some fun, don't we?